21st century expedition some here along the Whitlacoochee River. I'm at an ancient Indian kitchen midden. See the elevation start to change here. There's some pot sherds, broken vessels. The Indians discarded. Or shards from broken vessels. You can see how the mound elevates, rises above the river here. River down there. The mound is probably easily on the edge of the river when it's full. Here's a beer can. You can see it says beer on there. What's interesting about it, it's a tin can. It's probably a beer can before they came out with aluminum. I think they came out with aluminum can either in the late 50s, I think. Maybe early 60s. Here's a bottle. An old bottle that says Moen and David. It has a Star of David on it. I'm sure it has something to do with kosher. Here's a stubby beer bottle, which is an earlier kind of beer bottle, although they still make them today for looks. Along the edge of the mound here. It's quite a bluff. Along the river. You can see the shell deposits. The river is right over here. The Witlacoochee River. A lot like the Wakaiva River. And they both flow north into the St. John's. What's interesting here is a vandal pit. It's where Either did an excavation here or vandals came in and tried to find goodies down in the earth. It's a pretty big vandal pit. You could fit a car in here. There's another vandal pit. They're telling how long ago this was done. Could have been over a hundred years ago someone dug in there. Here, 
looks like there's wild batania going on the mound here. <laughs> 